I've been taking apart some more inkjet printers to try to find a sled for the bed. And what I found was this flatbed scanner is going to be better than the printers. Let me show you what's inside. First of all, we have a glass plate that perfectly matches. I don't know if we can print on a glass plate. I doubt it. Let me know if your ideas on that. But we have this chassis already built and it comes with a sled that moves. <laughs> and let's see, this chassis has wires running down here for the keypad, keypad on the front. I can use those buttons for something if I wire them in. This bar is grounded, which will be good. As I've discovered, grounding is very good for getting rid of noise. Uh, it has the USB plug on the outside, which I could use to get my signal in for Arduino, or the Mega and the Ramps board, maybe. Uh, it has a stepper connector for the stepper motor, which I can use. Uh, more on the stepper later. It has the power jack for the voltage in. And what else? It has a power switch over here on the outside. Momentary switch. And let's see, let's look at the sled. The sled is supported by a very thick bar on one side. And it uses metal, raw metal on metal connectors. And man, it's solid and no play and no friction, really. It's just metal on metal. I guess that's how they make the big CNC mills. But on the other side, I'm a little concerned. It just has a little Teflon nub at the bottom, right there. And that slides on the plastic. And the plastic underneath is not supported in that region. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. It's up here on the upside, not the bottom. So it seems like that could flex down a little. So I may have to put a support under there if the print gets really heavy. For now, I'll leave it. Um, the other thing was I didn't know if I, I... I took apart this whole assembly inside. And man, there's some cool parts inside. Uh, 3D scanner, or sorry, scanners. They were magic to me before. I don't know how these things work. But there's like four mirrors, five mirrors in here. There's a little solenoid, which is awesome. It deflects another mirror. I suppose that's a low voltage solenoid I could use for a Z probe, which would be really cool. An automated Z probe, like I've seen Pinter, Printer Stein do on his channel. Oops. And you can automate the probe to go up and down and then check out the Z height and do automatic bed leveling. It also had this really cool lens in there for a camera that's built into the board. And an LED bar, which I can use to light things up, maybe even have better lighting at my desk. Check out the lens. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, these LEDs, they're connected four in a row for three strips of four in a row and then two strips of five in a row. I figured out the wiring on this six strip header. Don't know why there's five in some rows and six on the other. I guess the voltage won't be too different. And for testing, I was going to screw this screw or maybe magnetically attach this cutting board and what the cutting board will do for testing is just allow me to move some mass which simulates a big heavy printed object for now i will have to put some adequate bed on here i don't know i don't know much about printers yet i'm figuring this out as i go along so if you have suggestions for what i could attach this unscrews and gives me a little base to screw into. I could maybe put a frame or something on top of that. 
like the X frames that I see that poke out. I don't know what those are made of. Or maybe I could use the glass from the scanner itself. It's the perfect size and I get a full 12 foot object or 12 inch object on this thing moving back and forth. And let's see. The optical end stop it has over on the board. I could either replace this whole board with my own custom board and locate all the components on my custom board in the same spot. But this end stop intersects with a piece on the sled which moves forward and backward. Seems pretty quiet for a stepper. I don't know, maybe it's louder when I actually put electricity through it. And uh, what else? Well, I guess that's it. Let me know your ideas. I think I will check this out next. One thing that's disappointing is that this is a stepper motor and I wanted to do dual DC servo encoder motors. So I don't know, it's a tough decision. But check this out though. These washers are vibrational damping washers, which <laughs> ought to make this really quiet. But I think I'm still committed towards doing two DC motors, so what I can do is I'll get it working with this stepper motor, and then I'll bootstrap myself and print out some adapter or something so I can shove a DC servo motor in here instead and put an encoder on this output wheel. Um, if you, I was thinking maybe I could hook a DC servo motor to the shaft, but it's flush, doesn't poke out. And that would have been cool, because then I could have used the stepper motor wires as the encoder itself. <laughs> so I could have used this as the encoder. But if you have any other ideas, I'm all ears. Otherwise, I'll print an adapter or something.